In this screencast, you'll learn about reusing content in Confluence with the help of scroll version's enhanced reuse functionality. So let's start by looking at the default reuse functionality offered by Confluence. As you can see, we've already created some pages, and scroll versions hasn't yet been activated in this space. The first step is to create an inclusions library for storing all the content we want to reuse on multiple Confluence pages. It's important to store the reused content under the same parent page, as that helps keep things tidy. So let's start by creating the parent page for our inclusions library. We then have to create one page for every snippet we wish to reuse. Try to keep your snippets as short as possible. When creating an inclusions library, we at K15T have established a convention. All pages in the inclusion libraries start with an underscore. In this example, we'll create a page called Roles as we want to reuse the information about user roles on another page. Step two is to move the inclusions library to the same level as the home page of the space, which will hide it from the readers. To do so, click Tools, View in Hierarchy, and move the inclusions library by dragging and dropping. Once everything is set up, it's time to get more practical and show you how to include a page. As mentioned in the blog post, you should carefully examine where reusing content makes sense and aids you in your day-to-day -day work. To include a page, open the desired page in edit mode and scroll to the desired position. Now, you simply insert the include page macro, which is default confidence functionality for including, select the desired page and save. Now, the desired page is included. Let's activate scroll versions and see what additional functionality it offers. This is the same space as before, with scroll versions enabled, as you can see from the page info panel. We've already created an inclusions library and a page entitled roles. Now scroll versions gives us additional options. As you can see, the inclusions library is hidden from our users by default. Of course, they can see it in the view and hierarchy view, but that's not a problem, as its content is not a secret. But you, as an author, need easy access to the inclusions library because you might well have to make changes from time to time or add new pages. So here comes the first additional feature that Scroll Versions offers, show top-level pages. Click your profile picture and open the scroll settings. These are the global scroll version settings for your user. In this case, we'll take a closer look at the top two checkboxes. As the last two options don't affect the content reuse functionality, we'll ignore them in this screencast. When you activate the Show Top Level Pages option, you'll see the Inclusions Library and all other pages at top level in the page tree. That's important when you're working with the Inclusions Library. Another additional feature offered by Scroll Versions is the highlighting of included content. If you activate this option in your scroll settings, included content is highlighted and information about the source page is displayed when you mouse over the included section. As we've activated the Show Top Level Pages option, we can now see the inclusions library in the page tree. Reusing content with scroll versions is as simple as it is with Confluence. Again, open the desired page in edit mode and scroll to the desired position. Now you have to insert the Include Plus macro that comes with scroll versions to benefit from its enhanced functionality. So, insert the macro, select the page you want to reuse, and click Save. If you've activated the Highlight Includes option, as mentioned before, you can see exactly where the content comes from when you mouse over it. If you open the included page, expand the Page Info panel and click the Include Information tab, you can see all of the pages on which that page is reused. This is extremely useful if you need to change a reused snippet and want to check when other pages are affected by the change. That was only a simple example. If you're planning to reuse images, I'd recommend having an additional hierarchy level and creating one parent page for your reused text and another one for your reused images. So, that's it. I hope this screencast has explained how Scroll Versions extends the existing Confluence functionality and helps you to reuse content throughout a space. If you have any questions about Scroll Versions, please feel free to contact us at any time.